Hey, welcome back to the channel guys. So I've been trying to shoot some film again lately, so I decided to try Ektar out in 35mm. I've shot a lot of it in 120, but I've never tried it in 35mm before. So I decided to load up the old Minolta X700 here, head out to the local nature park with my wife and see what we could shoot on it. Prepare to be underwhelmed by some mediocre landscape photos. So Sunday afternoon we took off down the trail. I had the X700 loaded up with the Ektar. I had a 35-70 to f3.5 zoom lens on it, and I also brought a 135 MC Celtic 2.8 lens, which is by far one of my favorite lenses for full frame camera work in general. I've used it a lot on my Sony back when I had it, and it's uh, been awesome on the X700 as well. So anyway, we took off down the trail, found some cool places for some portraits to take of my wife, and then ended up finding some new parts of the trail that we hadn't been on yet and got some pretty interesting shots, I suppose, over there. Uh, some cool outcroppings of rock, uh, nice trails, threw a, pol a circular polarizer on the front of the 35-70 to because we were still out kind of early and the uh, lighting was still a little harsher than I'd like. Used the CPL to tone that down. Worked out pretty nicely. So we continued walking down the trail, found some more stuff to check out, found another new trail we hadn't been down before that took us up above the rapids, which is kind of the feature besides the waterfall that comes out of the back of the dam at the area we were at. So we found a new trail that goes up above it and had the opportunity to shoot a few shots there. And the waterfall's always crowded on weekends, so we didn't even bother stopping. But we did make it up to the lake on the other side of the dam, and uh, we were treated with a mediocre beginning to a sunset. So yeah, we got out kind of late, had to be at work the next day, couldn't stay super late. So we ran a few photos in up until the start of sunset and then had to leave home. The good news was this beast here was showing up the next day on Monday. New RB67, had to sell my K1 in order to pay some bills, had enough left to order up an RB67 to replace it. So Tuesday I had the day off as well, and I thought, you know, let's wake up early, load some Ektar in the RB, go test it out, make sure it doesn't have any light leaks or anything crazy, and get some awesome sunrise shots. But uh, as you'll see, that didn't quite go to plan. However, it did work out better than I expected it to. It's like 6.45 in the morning, and I woke up super early to try to come out specifically to do some landscape sunrise shots and it is misting, completely cloud covered, and generally not great for landscape photography right now. So I'm chilling in the car and hoping it's gonna work out, but we'll see. So after realizing I wasn't anywhere high enough for the fog to actually make for some cool photos, sat in my car for a while, debated whether or not to just drive home and get back in bed. Decided to tough it out go for a walk and just see what happened. Worst case scenario, I got some exercise that I definitely need, um, but it actually ended up working out fairly well. Ended up being able to go to the waterfall with no people around whatsoever, grab a couple shots with the X700 and the RB, uh, found a great blue heron laying around, and actually through the 250 mil on the RB67, managed to get the heron's head in focus, which was a miracle because I was shooting at a quarter of a second shutter speed and the thing didn't move. All right guys, so this is where having the uh, 35 millimeter comes in handy. There's a heron right back there somewhere. I'll try to show you in another B-roll or something. Hopefully you can hear me over the waterfall there. Uh, but yeah, I've got the 35 millimeter set up. I'm gonna put the 135 on and try to grab a shot of the heron. Uh, then we'll go back to the 35-70 to 70 Minolta lens 
and uh, get a couple shots of the waterfall. Uh, then we'll probably try it with RB67 too. Ought to be awesome. After chilling out at the waterfall for a bit, getting some shots, seeing what all's going on there, I hiked my way back up to the top of the dam to see if there were any places where the fog might be settling in down low and make for some cool shots. Unfortunately, it didn't quite work out that well for me, and I was really wishing I was shooting black and white at this point instead of Ektar. So I took as many shots as I could make work up there. Uh, some of them actually came out really cool with the Ektar, and I'm pretty impressed and happy to see that. Uh, one of them, feels blasphemous to say this, but I did turn a frame of Ektar from the RB67 into a black and white, and it feels weird. Real weird. So all in all, I made out with some pretty good shots considering I was just staying local. The weather turned out crappy on one of the days and I didn't really have a plan other than to shoot Ektar. The RB worked out perfectly, no light leaks. The lenses are in beautiful condition. Got super lucky to find such a good deal on eBay on that thing. The X700 has always been a solid camera ever since my dad gave it to me. And I have no complaints there. So yeah, even when it's crappy out, get out and go shoot. You might surprise yourself. Until next time, we'll see you later.